In this video guys, we've got ETFs that have got exposure to blockchain companies, so blockchain ETFs, stay tuned. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. So blockchain, big latest technology, well I say latest, it's been around for a while, um, and whenever you're watching this video, it might have been around even longer. Um, so blockchain is potentially a disruptor, and it's just a way that people can a kind of transact information uh bitcoin was i guess the thing that brought it to light i guess was the thing that made people think oh blockchain you know bitcoin was a, a currency based on blockchain but it's, it's just that ultimately it's a it's a it's a an irreversible ledger that's verified by a network of computers uh, and each of them have got a copy of the ledger now i'm not going to go to the pros and cons of blockchain um because probably i'm not the guy to listen to with regard to that however there are three ETFs, which I think are quite interesting. So if you believe that blockchain has got some mileage, maybe these ETFs will be something of interest to you. Okay, so the first one I've got for you is Block. What a cool uh, ticker code for that. B-L-O-K. This is called Amplify Transformational Data Share. I've got a daily chart up in front of you at the moment. This was launched a couple of years ago, actually. And... Uh, what are we doing? Let's get on daily charts so we can see what's going on. Currently trading about $18. Uh, these, this company, oh, sorry, this ETF um, has the top three allocations of uh, Digital Garage, which is an over the counter company, is about 6% or 7% of the fund of that. GMO Internet, uh, again, about 6.5%, and Square. Uh, and in total, it's got 52 holdings in the basket. Now, the uh, management fee is quite a reasonable 0.7%. That's not as low as some of the really low trackers, but it's, you know, considering it's reasonably actively managed, um, it's not too bad. And you can see kind of the performance of the fund over this period. In fact, it'd probably be prudent of us to have a little look and see this over the counter stock, uh, the biggest one it's got, DLGEF, Digital Garage. Let's have a look and see how that's done. So obviously it being over the counter, um, you're not going to get much information on that, but you can see it's kind of been all over the place, not done an awful lot. Uh, Square is a bit more, bit popular, a bit more volume in that, and Nasdaq holding. Uh, that looks like it's doing okay, so perhaps the others are dragging it down. So that's Block, guys. That's got um, uh, you know, reasonable management fee, and I think it's got something like 167 uh, billion assets under management, so it's doing okay. All right, so let's have a look at the next one of BLCN. Uh, BLCN stands for the Reality Shares NASDAQ Next Gen Economy ETF. Uh, obviously, it doesn't look so good on this chart, but let's have a look and see exactly what it's done. So, um, this was formed, it looks like it was the beginning of this year, in January 2018, when I filmed this video. Uh, it basically seeks to replicate the returns of the Reality Shares NASDAQ Blockchain Economy Index. Uh, so, it's got 115 uh, million. Um, asset pool and securities that make up the benchmark index. Let's look at the major holdings. So it's got the top 10 holdings carry a combined weight of about 21%. Uh, and they have big boys like AMD, which we are probably all familiar with, uh, Intel and Microsoft. So, you know, that's an interesting one. I've got a kind of different angle on that BLCN. Um, it's the expense ratio 0.68%, which uh, doesn't seem excessive to me. Uh, slightly above Kind of the average, I think it's the average about 0.5%, but it's not excessive. Uh, and you can see the returns it's had as we've done this chart. All right, so the next one I have for you is COIN, another great ticker code. This is brand new this year, January 2018. And this is the Innovation Shares Next Gen Protocol ETF, and it tracks the performance of the Innovation Labs Blockchain Innovators Index. And it aims to do this by investing at least, um, I think it was 85% or 80% of the assets in those securities under an index top four holdings of this one are visa amazon microsoft and intel that whole that accounts for like 28 percent of it um and it's got 45 percent of stocks in the basket it's only got a 7.3 million in net assets in this one uh, an annual fee of 0.65 percent uh, you can see it's not a lot of volume in this and you can tell because of the low assets uh that are uh, that are in the in, in the etf and also you know sometimes you got to be a little bit cautious i think when the etfs have a large portion of um allocation in big companies like we have visa amazon microsoft intel they are not pure blockchain plays yes they will benefit at some point from the blockchain but it almost feels a little bit like a cop-out when etfs are allocating huge assets to that 
It's a, it, you feel like saying, okay, well, give me the exposure to real, you know, chance of success in this blockchain industry. I don't mind taking the risk on that. But of course, they're all about getting the management fee as well, so they can't be pure risky. Anyway, that's a little bit off topic, isn't it? Uh, three of them for you there: BLCN, KOIN, BLOK. These all have some exposure, or one way or another, to the blockchain ETFs. One way of getting exposure potentially to blockchain, if you think that it's got some mileage in the long term. Whatever you do, keep the risk managed. Take care. Bye bye.